What's up guys, TDVR here. I'm here to answer, is the Eastwood DLC bundle worth it or not? I know a lot of people say it's pay to win, blah, 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 but let's go over the facts. Meet me in the market. So this is what you get with the DLC. You get the Marlin Rowdy at 44 Magnum. You get a double barrel, which you get this revolver, and then you get this other double barrel, which counts as a pistol holstered weapon. Now, oh, you also get the cowboy hat. But people's, people always ask, is it even worth it to get? Because if you go to Spectre now, you have all this available over here as well. So when you go to bolt action, you have a Marlin weapon. It just doesn't have the bullet loops. Same caliber though. If you go to handguns, you got a better version of the revolver. This one even has a speed reloader. And then if you go to shotguns, you have and they're a real double barrel, not the half one. Now, I will say you don't have the hat. But also, most people want just wonder if it's pay to win. Because... This one, the only difference is you get two other shotguns. But honestly, those are just different versions of the double barrel. If you bought this pack, I think the only thing you should get it for is the pistol holster shotgun. Because it can go in your pistol holster. Which, that's a little overkill, but let me tell you why I don't like these. If you ever pick one up or want to reload it or just forget if it's loaded or not, when you check your ammo, the bullets pop out every time regardless. And they're gone. So no matter how you hold it, they're going to pop out. And personally, that's just annoying to deal with, I think. Now... On top of that, the weapons as well, we've used them in multiple live streams. The pistol, it takes like two or three shots to even kill someone. And then like reloading it, is this one even accurate? Reloading this one, you have to use a push rod to unload each individual casing. And then you have to do the same thing when you put new bullets in. You got to put them in one by one while you're rotating it, which... It's cool. It's a cool gun to have. However, it's not, you know, you're going to roll up on someone with that when they're using a scar. Come on. Now, the, I'd say this one, it's a little bit better than the other one because you just have these bullets here whenever you need to reload. But on top of that, this gun's damage is not that good. So whenever you go to shoot people... It takes like three or four shots to even kill somebody. It's two on a naked, which by the time you do this, by the time you get four of those shots off, assuming you hit every single one, the geared guy you're shooting at is gonna pop you with an AK Alpha. So do I think it's worth it to get this pack? Not really. Should you get it anyways? Yeah, it's just five bucks. That's my best thoughts on all everything. Uh, obviously, the guns, they're not overpowered. You're not going to buy this and be winning every single match if you go out using this stuff. Yeah, the shotguns can be fun in the silo, but the other weapons are not really feasible. or You know, they're not good to use casually on any map, unless you're just having fun or making content, like 15-second reviews with this Russian roulette stuff. However, I still think it's worth getting it, because the pack's 5 bucks. It introduces new guns, whether you have them anyways or not. It's just fun to have, and you can uh, rock this slick boy right here. It doesn't provide any other armor, but you have a hat. Cool, right? That's my best feedback on the pack. I hope this helped you out, and happy raiding out there.